Hello everybody. So before I left Nom Pen, I met up with a YouTuber called Austin and I was honoured that he wanted to interview me for his channel. So I will insert a little clip of that interview just here, but I will leave the main link to the whole video down in the description below. So here is the run up to that interview. So there was nowhere to do the interview around here. So we're going to jump in this car and go off and find somewhere quieter with no background music to do the little interview. So we've come down to the French Quarter and it is beautiful. So we're going to sit here at Tube Coffee and have a little chat. And what I will do is I will link that interview down below if you want to watch the full one. After the video, Austin dropped me back to my accommodation and I took a walk back down the main street and found something to eat because the next day was my flight to Kuala Lumpur. Oh wow, look at those. So my duck was really nice, the duck wraps, but their exchange rate here is different from everywhere else. Normally it's 4,000 real for one dollar. Here, it's slightly more. Don't know why, don't ask me. Night night. Shh, everyone's asleep. It was a little chilly on that tuk-tuk coming in. It took about half an hour. They did say it took about 45 minutes to get here, but I suppose that's in the traffic. And just found out, even though on AirAsia's website it says make sure international flights you arrive three hours beforehand. No, check-in doesn't start until two hours beforehand. So I've got a really long wait now because it is 5 a.m. I expect it will be 6.20 before the check-in opens because again on AirAsia's website they say that the um, the little check-in thing that you can put on your phone they say that you can't use that you've got to go to the gate and get a paper one again I'm beginning to wonder whether that's true or not <laughs> but we will wait and see I'm exhausted already but I've made it on board and I think this flight's only about an hour and a half. Arrived safe and well back in Malaysia. Now I think I'm either going to go and get the train or the bus. I think the first thing I'm going to do is get a decent cup of coffee. <laughs> so I arrived at my hostel but actually can't find it but it looks all very nice. Wow, that's a big door. It's my new entrance. This is my new dorm room in Kuala Lumpur. It's a six berth dorm. Checking was a little chaotic. And this is the bathroom. Hello! Two sinks, shower and a toilet. But I'm here and I'm gonna have a lay down. The view from our room is pretty good. I heard that there was a restaurant and an infinity pool up on the roof, so I decided to head up and check it out. I think I've actually just struck gold. Look at that view. I mean, really? to walk down to the shopping mall I'll show you where my building is that I'm staying in so those huge buildings there that's why I'm staying and you can just about see right on the top 
the glass part on the roof there. That's the swimming pool that I was in earlier. So from there, I'm going to walk and that's the shopping mall. So it's not far. You've just got to go up a few steps and round the corner and basically you're there. So I do feel a little bit out of the way staying here. The pool is lovely. The lifts are driving me to distraction. You can wait 10 minutes for a lift without even thinking about it. Would I stay here again? Probably not. Um, that's not because it's not nice. It's just because the lifts are on a different level of being infuriating. <laughs> yeah, I think you can go out for five minutes and spend an hour out because literally you're just waiting for a lift to either come up or go down or yeah it's a bit of a nightmare but anyway i'm now at the bowl so i'm gonna go and get some food because i haven't really eaten properly in two days don't know what's the matter with me but yeah it's just not hungry right let's see what the mall's all about I've come up to watch the sunset from the pool upstairs and from this afternoon to now it is so crowded up here I don't even know if you can hear me because the noise is quite a lot but this view beats everything it really really does and I am glad that I stayed here the lifts are driving me absolutely nuts I'm I waited 10 minutes earlier on just to come back up to my room from when I went down to go shopping and I did buy a few little bits so I'm going to insert little pictures just here of the items that I bought. I went into Uniqlo and I thought I'll go and see what all the fuss is about and I thought I was going to buy a little bag but actually I came out with a pair of shorts and a t-shirt. Really happy with my purchases. I have had to let a couple of things go because my bag is just getting bigger and bigger. There's a group of lads over here all pushing each other in and taking photographs and having an absolute whale of a time. But anyway, I'm gonna go and sit and watch the sunset. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Rain stopped playing. Started thunder and lightning and raining, and they told us all to get out of the pool. So no sunset again for me. <laughs>